I would like to take this time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button for further info and updates. As you can see, we're going to be talking about activists get seven days in jail for cursing MP Hines. Beatum Garden community activist Anderson Wilson has been convicted and sentenced to seven days in jail for using obscene language to the annoyance of Laventel West MP Fitzgerald Hines in 2018. Shortly after he was sentenced, just before 2 p.m. on Friday, senior magistrate Sandra De Silva agreed she was obligated under the Summary Court Act to grant him automatic bail. This is after his attorney, Darren Mitchell, gives notice of appealing the conviction and sentence. Under the section 133, once someone is sentenced to less than three months imprisonment, a magistrate or judge must grant him bail. So people, as you can see, he was granted bail. People need to understand, and let me break it down to all you. Even though you know the MP not doing the job, you have to take different measures to deal with that situation. You see, if you take it up under under rage, you get fire rage, or for all the community upset, and you go at him and you curse him out and thing. Remember, as an activist, you are professional. You are voice of the community. You are representing the community and when you come to these people of the government and you curse and you act rowdy rowdy they're going to use that against you to destroy you as Fitzgerald Hines did he said oh I know the people down there pissed off I was telling them yeah I go do this I go do that and I never do nothing but seeing as you pick up the rage and say no you're gonna curse me out or whatever I can get at you. I may not get at, to the community. I may not be able to get everybody in the community in trouble. But guess what? I can get you in trouble. So that's what Fisher Hines did. He said, all right, only wet map, only do this. I go and take this to court. I go make you pay for everybody. I go give you the old saying, Peter pay for Paul and Paul go pay for all. That's what he actually did to the activists. He went to court. He blamed the activists for it. There are footage of it. Guess what? The judge is gonna do. The judge is gonna be on his side because remember, this is is a game they play. This is a government. You can't come and say you're going against the government. The, the judge is not gonna go against Fitzgerald Hines. She gonna say, listen, even though he not doing what he's supposed to do, guess what? He came down there, he didn't curse nobody, he didn't fight nobody, and Olya assaulted him. So she trying to make an example out of the activists so that people in the community will know listen or they can't get away with us doing this and then the activists will go back to the community and say don't do that boy they're giving we time in jail for doing that so this this is what's going on we all know these mps don't be doing nothing they're getting paid just to walk around and fool people and tell people and give people pipe dreams and fake dreams about oh we go do this and we go do that guess what nothing being done if all it was doing stuff you will see changes in trinidad you will see better pavements you will see better roads you will see better pipe systems all this flood and all these other things will be fixed they're not doing the job virtual Hines wrong for what he do what he doing you're promising people things and they're not doing it but also the activist is also wrong He's right and wrong. He's right about Fitzgerald Hines not doing the job, but he's wrong on the way that he carried it out. He was better off to pull aside Fitzgerald Hines and say, Fitzgerald Hines, man, it's time for you to really stand up to the plate and help these people in the community. You, you're carrying a name. Your name is Fitzgerald Hines. If you want your name to be remembered as a great MP, do great stuff. That's why I don't understand where the people are, the, the government in the country. You know if you stand up and do the right thing for the country, your name will live on even longer. People will want to do things for you. People will want to be a part of your, your campaign. The neighborhoods will want to be on your side. But if you're not doing nothing for them, why must they vote for you? Why must they be on your side? The government need to start doing the job that they paid for. 
you're getting paid do your job fitchwell hines do your job the activists we understand how you was getting on but guess what it was the wrong way next time don't do that next time try to solve the situation differently because trust me the government will continue and the judge will continue getting all the time in jail they're not going to tolerate that because if they only get away with that they believe that only will do even more so mps in trinidad and tobago only stand up and do the right thing for the country stop fooling the people in the community and saying you're going to do stuff that you're not going to do be honest if you know you cannot do it say listen i don't know if it's going to work but i'm willing to try and show them that you want to try that's why when you go to these neighborhood fetcher lines stuff like this will happen to you stop fooling the people in the communities man we need to build Trinidad better instead of sitting in parliament and complaining about this and that what have you done lately for this community that's the question should be in parliament what have we done lately every action is a reaction if you want a good reaction like subscribe and share for the hard topic